Hello, welcome to IAT 806, a graduate course in the School of Interactive Arts and Technology. Uh, this title of this course is Interdip Interdisciplinary Design Approaches to Computing, and my name is Chris Shaw. I have a PhD in uh, Computing Science, and I've been a prof at the at CIET, the School of Interactive Arts and Technology, since 2005. What we're going to do throughout this course is that we are going to study both computing and the history of interactive computing. We're going to create interactive programs by using the, uh, the processing uh, programming system, using the Java programming language, and we are going to also study and write about the history of computing. One of the things that's very important about this particular offering of the course is that it is going to be done uh, asynchronously, um, that is to say, uh, pre-recorded videos like the one you are now seeing is are going to be one of the primary means by which uh, I deliver the course material uh, to you, the student. So um, what that means is that I'm going to be creating a, a significant number of pre-recorded videos. I'm going to at least place them on my YouTube channel for which you can see my playlist right here for IAT 806. And I will also be making them available uh, on the Canvas website for IAT 806. One of the drawbacks of this, of course, is that um, the IAT, uh, the Canvas uh, site is, uh, um, you know, the videos are fairly large, and so YouTube gives you free storage, so that we're going to use that as one of the primary me means of delivering the content. We're going to hold synchronous meetings for this course once per week on Thursdays, and we're going to start that, uh, uh, you know, in the, for the rest of the term on September 17th. And we'll meet two times. You only need to, as a student, you only need to attend one of those two times. Uh, the first time is at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time slash Pacific Standard Time. You convert it to your own time zone, um, and uh, which is the standard course time. If, however, you find that that time is difficult for you to make because in your time zone that's, you know, 3.30 in the morning or something, you can instead attend the one which I'm tentatively scheduling for 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight slash Pacific Standard Time. And we, uh, during the live portion of this uh, um, lecture period on September 10th, we'll figure out exactly what the proper time for that is. I'm tentatively scheduling it for 10 p.m. Uh, 10 p.m. Pacific. Now, the next thing that I'd like to talk about is uh, who the people are in the course. Uh, it's very important for us to get to know each other. We would normally, of course, wish to do this um, course live, uh, you know, in a classroom with us all together, but COVID-19 prevents us from doing that. So what we will need to do is to take some effort to introduce each other, to introduce ourselves, and give you the opportunity uh, to understand who your colleagues are. Because one of the primary learning outcomes of the course is uh, to establish a cohort of scholars in the School of Interactive Arts and Technology as at the graduate level. Um, and uh, it's very important for you to know each other and so that you can learn from each other, learn each other's perspective, and so on and so forth. So let me start by uh, saying that first I'll talk about me for a bit, and then I'll briefly introduce our TA through a pre-recorded video that she put together. So my name's Chris Shaw. I have a PhD in computing science, and my research is in the areas of visual analytics, virtual environments, health informatics, and two-handed 3D interfaces for 3D freeform surface design, scientific bio, uh, bioinformatics, and information visualization. For teaching, I do uh, video game design and programming and visual analytics, as well as a second year programming course, IAT 265. So what I'm uh, showing here is a still for a uh, system that
three. So that's an indicator of the kind of um, sorry, uh, talk about with respect to uh, um, uh, freeform surface design. And here's an example of the kinds of uh, things that you can design using that system. So the twister space warp operator is a great way of rapidly designing surfaces. And uh, warp operations like twister are used in modern CAD systems here and there. Uh, another thing that I've been doing uh, more recently has been working on health informatics. In particular, uh, I developed a system with my students, uh, Ankit Gupta and Tim Heng and um, Amal Vincent, uh, named FitViz. And what it does is uh, a patient who uses the system wears a, a, a motion tracker, uh, some uh, Fitbit typically, uh, and what it does is it measures um, the amount of walking that uh, the wearer does every day. And it presents you with a graph of the bouts of walking activity, which are shown here as a, uh, a pair of green bars. And uh, what this thing is showing is that there were two bouts of activity during this particular time period, those two vertical green bars. And the two vertical green bars have these warning marks, which are annotated for the purposes of publication, to indicate that the first one was a little bit too intense. So you can see right at the top of the bar, there's sort of red radiating lines indicating it was too intense. There were sweat drops on both of those bars, indicating that the walking period was too long. And there, at the uh, you know, sort of in the lower area, um, there is a little sort of spring-like uh, image that's being drawn to indicate that the two bouts of activity were too close together. And so what a patient does is he, he or she uses this system and collaborates with their physiotherapist or rheumatologist to... Uh, um, to, to work on an exercise plan for the, the, uh, the patient to do every day so that the patient gets enough exercise but doesn't overdo it. Because overdoing it may end up causing a joint injury, which is something you're trying to avoid if you have arthritis. This system has undergone or is undergoing four clinical trials, three of which are published and complete, and the clinical trials indicated that this was quite effective for managing patients' level of physical activity. So with respect to that, I'm someone to chat about with respect to uh, video games, technology, 3D design and sketching tools, visual analytics, and health, anal uh, health analytics. Okay, so now let's briefly introduce Lakshmi. Here's her slide, and uh, she's a PhD student in, um, in SIAD, and I'll let her... Hello everyone, I'm Lakshmi. I'm your TA for the course. I'm a PhD student at SIAD. I work with Dr. Lynn Batram in Visual Analytics Lab. I have my master's in computer science and I have worked in healthcare organizations as data analyst for a few years. My research interests are in data visualization and visual analytics. I have designed some exploratory visualizations on topics related to physical health applications, as well as interactive dashboards for hospital capacity management. It's nice to connect with you all. If you wanted to reach me, you can contact me through my email or through Canvas. Thank you. Okay, so that's Lakshmi, that's me. And now it's your turn. So what I'd like you guys to do is to take turns to introduce yourself on the, um, uh, the Zoom channel that we're engaging with today. Um, what I'd like you to do is to say your name, uh, show your face if you can, if uh, your bandwidth is enough, and we'll tell you if it's turning out that your voice is cutting out or something like that. Um, say uh, who your senior supervisor is, you know, who's uh, your supervisor uh, for your research, and uh, what um, your uh, intellectual background is, you know, a computer scientist, engineer, uh, communication scholar, that kind of thing. Uh, and very importantly, where are you located right now? Okay, that's it. So... Let's hear from you now. <laughs> 